Hey guys, SuperJ23 here, and have you ever wanted to make your own cartoon Minecraft character? Like this? Well, this I think is my bad one, yeah. This? Well, now you can. Introducing this, okay, whatever. But hey guys, SuperJ23 here, I'm gonna be showing you how to make your own Minecraft cartoon character. You, your things you're gonna need is Adobe Photoshop, the icon template, oops, nope, icon template, oh, it's opening it for me, okay, I might need it later, and your skin, which, to get, yeah, I opened it for me, whatever, and your skin, to get your skin, you're going to need, well, if you don't have it already, you're gonna need to go to this website right here, it's neatcoolshoes.com, you and all you do is enter your thing, right there, SuperJoe23 is my name, press enter, it will pop up, press this export and then press download the computer and you'll get your skin okay but I don't need to I have mine so now you what you what you need to do is go to open well I'm just gonna have that open for later but still open and find your skin which here it is okay now you take the zoom tool zoom up on it on the face mostly oh, frick timeline I don't need you right now and bam so when you get to your face all you do is get the crop tool and you can just crop out your face just like that but that's not my face that is but now i know where it is but yeah just delete around it uh you could crop out your face but i'm gonna show you the easier way well that would way would be kind of easier but still um good and let's do this and then delete so there's my face let's delete over here just because just because and just because. oh that's annoying get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that you don't need to do that i'm just doing it okay now if you have something that goes on your face like a mic or something you could just select it like that Get this tool up here and just drag it over. Just like that. So I think that's off by one, yep. And drag it and then you just click out of it. Just like bam. Okay, so after that, you have your head. Now you just take a picture of your screen. I'm gonna be using bandy cam because it's faster for me. I just took one. Now I'm gonna open bandy cam, open, and drag out the photo. Just like that. Okay, well, I'm gonna delete the old photo I have. This is my fourth attempt, by the way. Bam. And open that big screen and then small. Let's drag that to the normal size. I like it like this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, could I just... Yeah, whatever. Okay. Let's just drag this over here like that. And then you press file, open, and find that picture you have. Dun, 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 dun. Carry me home. Okay, after that, you take a new zoom tool, zoom right into the head, and then go right there. Now you just need to click this, get the corner, make sure to get your whole head. Nope, that's not gonna do. Um, you need to get your whole skin just like that. Perfect, okay. Now you're gonna press Control C, and then go to this, and press Control V. Now you click this, you'll have this selection. Oh, if you don't, you press Control T while having this tool out, Control T, and then you'll get this. Now you just zoom it out to the corners like this. It might be all blurry for you, but, oh, no, I don't want it. Ah, shoot, so annoying. My OCD though. Let's get that back even. Ah! What? Got it. Okay, whatever. Now, after the, you do that, click out, apply, and then there might be a little less blurry, but still. Okay. Well, after that, you could just X out of these things. No. Don't save changes if you're ever going to do this again. Okay, now, after that, you have your skin. You just made a template, and you're going to need the line tool next. 
to get the line tool, you might have the rectangle tool down here like that. You just hold it, hold right click, I mean left click, and then you go down to line tool and click. And bam, you have it. Now, we'll start with the hair. So first, I'm going to start from this side because I usually do. I'm not the best, but you're going to want to start from the corners. It might work for you guys, but for me, for ooh, 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 wait, delete. Make sure you have your color as black over here. Um, bold. Okay. Um, click open. And okay. So, now you just make the lines for the hair. So you do that. Don't make it too detailed because it might lose its Minecraft shape. Um, that was ter that was a terrible idea right there. I didn't. Why would I do that? <laughs> I'm not that good at hair designing. I know you guys might make ones ten times better than this. But I'm just doing a quick tutorial. If I really tried, mine might be super good. Probably like your guys's. Like your guys's probably way better than this all of yours okay just then I'm gonna overlook lap that a bit go up here do like oh wait 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 that's kind of stupid of me I don't want to do that let's do that down here delete I'm sorry guys I'm trying to make it good here right there you can and do like a little thing there and put it to the corner like that so you have that little effect well let's delete that and make it a little better let's do that and then do that there so now that's your hair now you're gonna want to come over here click the top one shape 23 hold shift scroll down you need to hold it all the way to sh the first shape click that they'll all be selected press ctrl e that'll merge them I like naming mine whoops like that and typing hair just like that okay so now I got my hair it looks pretty good to me whatever okay now we need to work on our on our other stuff like eyes and all that so now I'm gonna do well I'll start with the mic so whoops I did not mean to do that so I'm gonna go down here drag it to here and drag it over here and drag right there and then all the way down there so that there, there's the first part of my mic and the second part I'm gonna bring it all the way over here and then all the way up like that okay so that part's done that part's done yep so my mic's done basically simple as that okay now I'm gonna show you how to do the eye the eye's simple too but you want to give the eye like a little crooked shape Whoops, let's delete that, delete, you know what, yeah, do that, that, and bring it up, I'm not going to make it all the way because my, I'm having my eye cover like that, so, yep, basically that's how it's going to be, so, yep, that's how you do that part of the eye, and now I'm going to show you how to do this. Oh shoot, delete. No, oh, yeah. That was kind of stupid of me, guys. So you're gonna have to do the full thing. Sorry about this, guys. Busy day. Yesterday I went to Six Flags. That's when I made that one. The crappy one. I mean, not the crappy one. The other one. The good one. And we stayed there for a while and walked a lot, so kind of tired so sorry about that but drag the eye all the way up like that so it will be overlapped like that and next like the pupil you'll see how you'll no one wants it like that so let's combine all these go to shape 11 hold shift go all the way down to shape 1 just like that and press ctrl e and then bam let's put the border border up there let's name that well no let's name 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 whatever I don't care right now okay so you got all that now you're gonna need to change the color to white or depending on your eye color if it's a black eye you can just do that but mine's white so I'm changing the white 
There's a bunch of other ways you can do this, but this is the easiest way for me. Okay, so now you just drag like that. Bring it all the way up to here, and then drag over. Just like that. Okay, so now you see that it's basically an eye. Yeah, but if you zoom in, which I'm going to do right now. See how this side's up? Shape, shape two, one, whatever. That's just perfect or whatever. So hold shift, go to shape three, and then press control E, and then put that under name. The name I named it. And then see, it goes under, like it goes under the black. But now, after that, I'm going to show you how to see these little spots. So let's combine the name, name, and here. Shift that. E. What? what the? Oh, the duh. Control E. Okay. Now let's rename that to all I don't care right now. Okay, but there. Now, after that, you're going to want to get it. Go to blending options and click stroke. Check it and then go in here. And put 17 PX as the size and press OK. That will get rid of the corners better. See that? Yeah, okay, so after that, you do the same with the eye. Um, blending options. Stroke. 17, okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot about that, guys. You need to do the same, you need to change the color. Stroke, open that. I need to change this all the way to white, okay. Okay, just like that. And then, that's not showing, but... There. So, and I unchecked that too. So now if I hide this and zoom out, you'll see it kind of looks like a character without color. Okay, next I'm gonna sh now I'm gonna see if I can combine. Whoops, combine these. So shift this and press oh, frick E. Okay, I'm gonna have to cancel that. Those can't be combined for me. So it might work with you guys, but now cancel. Okay. Now you're gonna need to change it to like rasterize layer, and then go back and rasterize layer style, and go do the same. What? What? Rasterize layer. Rasterize layer style. Show that so it's better. And then there. Now I think the color should work. So you get the eyedropper, click the hair. Let's do this hair that time. And then let's get the bucket and click. Oh wait, duh. Sorry about that guy. Control Alt Z to go back. You need to have that selected. And then click the hair. And now go to the bucket. Yeah, okay guys. So see what happened here? The whole thing, that means control alt z That means, well that's what would happen to me, so I'm going to have to do this. Change this back to black, press OK. And then take the corners and block them off like that. Take the corner, block it off. Um, I don't know if it happened with here, but I'll go ahead and block that off. It doesn't really matter with it, because... It's gonna be, you're not gonna notice it that much, anyways. You might not even notice it, I don't know. Okay, th so there. Now, after you do that, you just combine them all. Click all, shift, go down all the way to, I think, here, and press control E. Yep, and that, and shape three is that. So yeah. Okay, now try it. Now try this. Take this. Click the hair. And then find the bucket. And... Because no layers are so dull. I select that. Okay, and then click. And bam. There. So after that, you do it with the whole thing. So uh, let's do this. And then... Bucket. There it is. Okay, well, I'm going to do that with that real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. It's just doing that right now. 
because I didn't color it yet, I think. But who cares? Let's just color that right now on the skin. Bam bam. Fuck it. Ugh. No. I'll be right back again. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back. I just did the skin. Let's get this corner. Yep, and maybe right there. No, let's get the other. That's just a little. No one will notice it that much. Okay, so after that, I just did the skin. Now I'll keep it selected. Do this. Sorry, I just ate a second ago. And bam. Do the same with this. And bang. Okay, so now I just need to do the eye. Which I think these need to be connected. Control. Wait, shift. And do this. Now press control E, please. Yes, to mess it up. Okay, so now let's do this. Select the blue. And then fill it in. Oh, it worked. No, but I want a lighter blue, so let's do that. I want to do it more of my eye color. My, my eye color is actually a very rare color. It's like a blue with no name. No, let's just do a darker blue. Who cares? It's actually pretty cool. Let's do that blue, okay? Let's see. Yep, close enough. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to select this white. And find the bucket and fill in the last part. Okay, after that, you could just select this, the shading, and bring it to the top. Bam. So, look how cool that is. Yeah. Okay, guys, well, that's how you do it. Now I'm going to show you how to save it. You go to File, Find. Where is it? What? Oh, Flash! oh save, save for web. There. And when you do this, just press save, click desktop, and then save, save, save as Super Gear 23 tutorial, or whatever you want. Press save, and then bam, you're done. Nope, I don't need to. Let's minimize that, and let's take a look at what I made. So, here's the three. I put them in order from first ones I made to last ones I made. Let's drag everything back because I have OCD. There, okay. So first one I made. This was the first one I've ever made. It's not good. It's bad. Look at that. It's terrible. <laughs> okay, so that's that one's trash. Second one, it's pretty good. This is actually one of my favorite ones. Wait. I think, yeah, this was this... This one's one of my favorite ones. It's the second one I made. Or, yeah. And this is a tutorial one. Yeah, it's epic. So, that's... There. So, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I, I really, I really need subscribers right now. But, if you want me to make you one, just remember, put your in-game name in the description. And put your email, and I'll send it to you as soon as I finish it. So, I'm also gonna, if you want to make your own, right here, I'll make, I'll put this in the description, or whatever, the thing for that, the download. And if you want to get this for free, check out my video. I made a video on getting Adobe Photoshop for free, After Effects for free, Ac well not action, yet. Perhaps DX Story, Bandicam, and others for free, so... If you want to subscribe, you have to subscribe. Yeah. I'm making you. Okay, but one more time. If you want me to make it, last warning, put it in the put your in-game name in the description and also put your email. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe, like, comment if you need help, do whatever you want. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.